This video is to show you how to proceed if you have the files in your OneDrive folder that I have put there. So to start working on your files, you would first click on your cloud and it would open up a box and you would open this folder and that would open a file explorer window um, and you would see your shared folder here and it might open the window over here but I want you to put it into restore if it's if it's big put it into restore down right here and then I want you to preferably have this either in list view or I'm going to put it in detail view here and I'm also going to take date modified I'm just going to switch it with status to put this beside each other and then with my mouse on the title bar I can move this window over here to the right hand side I can turn the navigation pane off which actually might be helpful but you know, I'm worried if you don't remember how to turn it back on. So I'm just going to leave it on. But I could turn it off with that check. But I will leave it on. So you're going to double click to go into your shared folder. And this is just an example of a trial. I've put the lesson two files here. You can double click to open this lesson two folder. And you will see the files. You're going to you are going to double click the file to open it. And when it opens, it may be maximized. I'm not sure, uh, but I want you to restore it and then be able to. Uh, move it with the title bar take a spot that on the title bar maybe right beside your name and move it to the left side it can cover up the navigation pane so that you see the list of files running down here so we have opened the first one and take a look if your autosave is on and if it's not on you can turn it on you can just begin to work on this file and as soon as I probably even if I just put a space in this I want you to look up at the top here so I'm just going to put a space and you look at the top and you see it's saving and at some point that will say saved and so when you close your files you want to make sure that you've given it time to be saved and then so you work on it you finish it you wait for the saved up in the title bar then you can file close it and then you're going to come over here and I'm just looking to see here uh, the reason I the date it's handy to see the date is that you can see that this file just saved at 1009 so you know okay good it's saved and now I have the rest of these to do so you just work down in order they should show in order if they're not in order in details you can click the name heading bar here now when I click it it's going to actually put them from Z to A so it'll switch the order if I click it one more time it will be in ascending order which of course is what you want so then you will come to the next one and you will double click it and usually uh, usually it will open in the same configuration that you had the last one so I'm going to restore and it might just pop right back and I have another word one open underneath here so I'm just going to minimize it so what you want is to have your list of files on one side and your word open in most of your screen 
and then you can work right on it. Wait till you see the word saved up there instead of saving. And then you can close it and you should close it. Don't let files collect up on your desktop. It turns into a nightmare later. So every time you finish one, just close it. If you don't have any other Word window open, um, maybe I'll, I can shut my other one. On one second. Okay. So I'm now I only have one word window open and when I close it really yes it should just look like this so it will never have to be sized a second time you just go to the next one now you can see my date didn't change because I actually didn't change anything on it um you can hear my dog that's cuz the mail just came <laughs> so you just go to the next one you double click it will probably show right here not maximize perfect now don't forget you can zoom in if this is too too uh, small for you you can use this little plus to just make the page come a little closer don't make the text any bigger ever just zoom in with this little plus or if you press and hold your control key on your keyboard and keep it pressed down and if I move my scroll wheel on my mouse up it zooms in if I move my wheel downwards it will zoom out so that should be a much easier way for you to work with your files